Hello and welcome to another video on Python Essentials. So today we're going to be taking a look at creating a function that uh, generates the factors of a number. So say given a number that we have about 60, you're talking about all the factors, which of course include, if you're talking about uh, one and 60 itself, the number in itself, and you have several other numbers, which are basically, which divide the number 60 perfectly, right? 12 after 12, we even have 15. So let's try to define a function which will do that for any number that we input as an argument over here. It says num. We'll call the function factors. A list of the factors. All right. So we could probably have the same uh, variable. We can call the variable as factors and gener generate that as a, or initialize that as an empty list, right? So for I in range, I think we are beginning from one, we don't want zero. Beginning from one, if you're talking about a range, we need to go up to the number itself. So we'll give number plus one so that we stop at number. And uh, for this range, we provide an if condition. Let's use the modulo operator. If num percentage i is equal to zero, Uh, to the factors list, we can now append the value of i, right? So every time you're dividing a number, uh, dividing the number itself by all the numbers that are less than it or equal to it, if you're able to perfectly divide it, we are adding it to the factors list, right? And uh, once that is done, we are basically going to print Factors for when you could print it if you like to have a statement which says these are the list of factors, or we could simply return the list of factors itself. That's also quite possible. So this has the advantage of has an advantage over the print function. What is the advantage that you can assign this? Define factors of a number. You can assign this to a variable directly. And the variable will now be that list of factors which we are returning over here. Right? Okay, let's run this. And uh, say we now want to call the factors of 24. And uh, it's a pretty small number. Let's try for uh, 120. Right? There you go, right from 1 to 120. And all the numbers before that, which perfectly divide 120, is what we have as the list of factors. 